Hi, my name is Trolls, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a challenge, a real challenge. Uh, in front of you right here, we have our 1990 Studio Grand Piano. It's over 48,000 samples, and I'll go a little into in this video why it's so many samples and why we did it so elaborately. But a couple of people on Facebook suggested that we should take this piano and put it to the grand test. And there is no grander test for any virtual piano putting it against the great and everlasting Rachman enough. In this uh, video, uh, we're gonna take the challenge all the way. Uh, we're gonna try it on his most famous piece, his prelude in C-sharp minor. It's not the most difficult he ever wrote, but it spans over every single dynamical part of the piano you can really go for, from very delicate um, pianissimo up to absolutely the hardest fortissimo. And it has a very um, dramatic mid part as well, uh, that requires shorter notes and that's where a part of the deep sampling behind this piano comes into play so but before we get started let me set up the piano in the correct way um, one of the philosophies behind the studio grand is that you can really dial in the piano exactly how you want it and obviously one of the really important factors is that we both these samples sustains pedal up pedal down staccato and staccatissimo and you can actually assign these guys to either your keys your cc's or automated Automate being that the system will automatically adapt to your playing preferences. So when you start playing faster, it'll go to staccato. When you start playing super fast, it'll go to staccatissimo. Um, but we also have it uh, for key switches. And in this demo, just to visualize it, I'm actually going to be using the key switches. And it's only, I think, in the middle part, um, we'll be switching a little bit to the staccatos. But otherwise, it's a fairly sustained piece of music here. But obviously, you can control um, all these things here on the key switches, um, which is super easy to do. Um, but you can also use our automated feature, which is fantastic as well. Uh, let me enter the piano here and let's take a little closer look at it here. One of the most awesome features is that we have this response dial. And the response dial allows you to get the right feel of the piano. So depending on how sensitive your MIDI controller is, you can dial it up and down. Down here would be more soft type of piano and up would give it a sort of more fortissimo feeling. And it's essentially how all the different velocity layers correspond to each other. And it's just a phenomenal feature. I think, as I mentioned in other videos, we often get detached playing on keyboard and MIDI controllers. It doesn't feel like a real piano, even though I have hammered action on my controller here, it's still not the same thing. But with the response button here, and you're gonna see me move it a little bit throughout the composition, um, I can really dial in the right sound. And obviously you can right click and assign that to CCs as well. Um, we also have a resonance button, so you can control the resonance, you can control the sound of the keys, that would be your sound of your fingers playing the keys, you can control the volume of the pedal, release, analog noise, and you obviously got the ADSR as well. But another important feature is our true professional reverbs here. And in this demonstration, and I should probably try to dial in here, uh, I want more of a concert type of feel. Obviously the piano is bone dry in its core essence, um, but I think for a more concerto type of style, we definitely want a little more reverb on it. So let me just um, let me try to dial in here. Let's see. Alright, so I think we got it down. Um, it has a fairly rich sound and the response button here is in a sort of mid-tempered sense. So yeah, I think we're good to go. I probably can't uh, escape this anymore. So uh, I humbly bid you the virtual version of the Prelude in C Sharp Minor by Rachmaninoff. And I should also mention actually just a humbling fact um, that Rachmaninoff was no more than 19 years old when he wrote this piece. <laughs> 